someone already created an entire GPT store with over 10,000 custom GPTs in it in all kinds of different categories. And the official OpenAI GPT store is not out yet. So someone manually went and created this website. The OpenAI GPT store is coming later in November, somewhere around the end of November, I believe, as far as we know right now based on their announcement. So it's really difficult right now to find GPTs. I just spent the last few days compiling the list of about a thousand of them to build my own custom GPT called GPT Finder to help people find GPTs. But it looks like they've already created a massive website over here. So let me show you exactly how this works. This website is called gptsdex.com, gptsdex.com. If you come up here, if you go to all, you're gonna basically endlessly scroll if you just press load more and see all these different GPTs. But what I found really useful is it has a quick search option. So if you wanna find a GPT about a specific topic like design, you could go ahead and search for that and it's gonna find it for you. By the way, if you're the creator of this website, I've tried to reach out on Discord. I love to invest or buy this website. Please reach out to me if you watch this video. But right here, you could also go to these categories. So if you wanna do more in the world of prompt engineering, there's a bunch of GPTs. And if you wanna try any of them, this is really useful. You could click on the logo right over here and it's gonna tell you the author, the website or the person that created it. It's gonna tell you the update time and then you could press use it now, or if you wanna just try it now from here, you could also press try it now and it's gonna open up ChatGPT and you could try it from here. Now, what I recommend is you always click here and take a look because right now it's the wild, wild west of <laughs> the world of GPTs. Anybody could create these, there is no gate. Anybody could publish them, anybody could put them in indexes like this. So right now, 10,000 here, I'm sure some bad players are gonna get into this mix. So be careful with your personal information. Don't just use any GPTs as if it's officially approved. Open AI store, when that comes out, those are gonna be a lot more safe to use because those are gonna go through the Open AI filter. These are not, these are just going through whoever built this website's filter and you could submit your own GPTs as well. So if you press submit here, it's gonna walk you through how to do that. They have a quick start guide. So if you're building GPTs, it doesn't hurt to put it on indexes like this. And again, if people like it, it looks like it has a good rating system to push you up. There's a trending section here to show you some trending GPTs. And you can see trending GPTs in different categories are gonna move up. I'm assuming the story is gonna work similar to this, the official one, but this is worth a try right now if you are having a hard time finding useful GPTs. And even though a lot of GPTs are useless right now, if you remember 2008 and the App Store, to submit an app, it was pretty difficult and most apps were useless and they went through the Apple gate to get into the App Store. So right now, this has no gate, so you're gonna come across a lot of useless GPTs. I did my best to put together a video of the top 10, and you know, some of those are still not useful. And that's the top 10 from researching hundreds and hundreds of different GPTs in the first week of GPT. So I'll update that when better GPTs come out. But I did make a video of the top 50 AI tools. Those are all useful. I think you're gonna take a lot of value from that video. So I'll link that below if you wanna watch that next. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.